In this episode, we finally have the bikes and we are leaving Hanoi. And we're getting to know the famous Vietnamese traffic. And I've lost Mickey without any communication. Can I find Mickey? Where is she? What's going on? Jesus Christ, Mickey's gone. And are we getting robbed by this young no, no, group? No, no, no money, no money, no, no money. Okay, let's start this one. Good morning guys, we're all packed and we're going to the bike shop. Uh, yesterday was a lot of rain, now it's uh, incredible hot. We have the motor suits on. We're the only ones in uh, Vietnam who uh, ride with a fully suit. And I got these knee protectors. Man, that's hot. <laughs> we're still inside with an airco, so yeah, it's gonna be something. Our destination is a bit unclear, uh, but first we're gonna pick up the bike, so we're gonna take a capsi, capsi, a new word that's Dutch and English. We're gonna take a cab to, uh, to pick up the bikes. Hopefully they're good. If they're not good, then we have a problem we know in, a, in the next shot. Mickey also awake. Mickey is full of enthusiasm. Hello. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's, uh, let's do this. This weird guy with the weird back really could use my Dear Ride With Roland sticker. So voila, now we can score girls again. By the way, if you're new here, make sure to watch the first episode also. I mean, you're not gonna read a book and start with a random chapter also, I assume. On the way with the taxi to the bikes, I saw this train track running through this people's backyard. I heard they have a market there also, only when the train comes everything needs to put aside. Yeah, you won't see that in Europe for sure. But anyway, we arrived at the bike shop, but… They're closed! What is it? 12.30. 12.30 we're here with our motor suits and shit. And they're opening on uh, half past one. So we're in the heat here. But yeah, we didn't have breakfast, so we're gonna do some breakfast, yeah. So it's like uh, one minute later uh, and we found a spot. And it's actually uh, nice, very cozy. This is our waitress, she's called Ja. Hello, hi. Hello. <laughs> ja. Ja. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. Hello. Hello. I have a sticker for you. Ja. Ja. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ja. So, your name was? Uh, my name is Who? Who? Ah, well, I just call her Ja. So this is the Vietnamese breakfast and the, they like uh, their eggs raw. Yesterday I had a really raw egg, just raw. That's how they serve it here, but I ate it. Because yeah, they do it, I can do it. But that's a good breakfast. Food is very good and very tasty so far. No, 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 no. We got a, we got a tour. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a little nice tour of the restaurant. Who, or Ja as I like to call her, was very friendly. Slowly I start to notice that the people in Vietnam are really really friendly and they all seem very happy and proud about their beautiful country. But after this tour it was time to test the bikes again and if they are fixed or not. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, 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 good. Yeah, yeah. Now we're filling in the form. We have the bike. The bikes are fixed, which is good. Million no. Yeah, of course, I had to pose again for another picture. What will be later a standard thing by every stop we made. We rode it back to the hotel and we started packing the bikes for the first time. It was insanely hot and I was sweating more than I did in the last 10 years combined. Although I smile, I was not happy at all because I wanted to get as fast as possible away from Hanoi. I was done with the chaos and noise and wanted to see Vietnam as we know it from the pictures. Yeah. Yeah, this is chaos. <laughs> it is incredible, incredible hot. Yeah, oh man. All right, wrong, wrong direction, god damn it. No, the video is not over yet, but meanwhile you can give the video a like if you like it. It's good for the algorithm, etc. Or now you can give a super thanks, but it really helps the channel. Anyway, let's continue. There, there doesn't seem to be a rule, but the rule is you, you horn, and then, um, well, nothing happens. <laughs> this is not a very comfortable seat, I have to say, to sit here. Like, uh, 
I don't know how many hours on it. I'm way too big for this motorcycle. It's like a moped or so, you know, it's very lightweight. It's 150 cc, but uh, I missed uh, the road and I was standing really at the wrong side. It was impossible to take it. So now uh, it, it, it gives me another route. And basically we want to get out of this shit town. No, it's not a shit town, but it is. It's way too crowded. This looks much better, much uh, less crowded. So, I think from here, the adventure finally starting. Let me see if we can find a gas station. Probably they're everywhere. You don't see them because they're not like our gas stations. They're, they could be anywhere. No, that's not really true. Vietnam has many gas stations and they are very clear to find. But I did not knew that yet. And well, the basic plan now is we were gonna do a route, but uh, yeah, we're too, way too late for that. So well, we're, well, we don't have a, a place to stay. That was uh, almost not going correctly, but we're looking for a, a place to stay. I don't see people watch their mirrors. They look, the guy doesn't even have mirrors, which I don't understand. You don't see them look in the mirrors at all or watch to the sides. And I'm constantly doing that because we in Europe are trained for, to do that. People are very in themselves here. See, they are watching. Hi! Uh, they were almost watching, okay. Uh, gas stations, where do we find the gas stations here? Where do I need to go anyway? Yeah, just move from lane to lane. You really need to have six pairs of eyes here. And I need to watch my navigation also makes it a bit uh, complicated. I think we need to go straight. It's almost very clear. Chaos, ladies and gentlemen. This is just chaos. We're now on the highway. They say it's very dangerous on the highway, but um, well, yeah, the trucks and etc. Uh, but they horn you and uh, the part what is a bit scary is that sometimes you hear the horn suddenly you're like fuck what's going on you know but the rest it's not so bad actually I like it a bit of wind got my chest open only problem is uh, I don't have gasoline didn't find any uh, gas station and we need one I think quick it looks actually nice a lot of green Where's Mickey? I lost Mickey. Oh, God damn it, where's Mickey? I cannot find Mickey. Where is she? Mickey was nowhere to be found on this highway, what is a bit scary, because she don't have any helmet communication inside her helmet. For all I know, she could be lying under a truck, what is even not that weird here. What's going on? Jesus Christ, Mickey's gone. I don't know, we'll follow, we'll follow him, we'll follow this guy. Yes? Okay, okay, let me explain what is going on here. I called Mickey and she was out of gasoline, so I told her to put the tank on reserve. Then we took the first exit on the highway to find some gasoline, but even Google could not find one around. So I stopped and asked these friendly guys if they knew a gas station, and so they told me to follow them. So I followed this young crowd on scooters and we got a little tour what looked a lot better than the road we rode before. Oh, that's very helpful, maybe they're gonna... Um Take my money. <laughs> the whole town is riding with us. They all want to ride with, ride with Roland. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that's kind of small for a big and heavy pack bikes. Here I'm almost crashing into this guy, but as normal, you have that 50 times a day here, so no worries. <laughs> I really don't know what this young fellow is saying, but for now we assume it's uh, positive. But they look a bit too young to be criminals, but I don't think they're criminals. He seemed to film me all the time, but that's fair, because after all, I'm filming him. A 
And then, finally we saw the gas station sign. What was good, because by this time we are running only on air, I think. Excellent! I got something for you. I got something for you. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no money, no money, no, no money. It's a sticker, it's a sticker. You can... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I only got two chips. I thought I had more. I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. You know YouTube? It says the Red Road was here. But I only got two, but I had more, but it's in my bag. So. Thank you, man. Yeah. Been a great help. We, Thank you. We, uh, we take a photo. Of course, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah photo. Just smile, just say hey! Yay! So we made some new Vietnamese friends and I'm sure they are watching this video. So leave a nice comment behind. You guys rock. Well, we're back on the highway with gasoline. So that's nice, nice weather, warm. But good on the highway. And now we have to ride a few hundred, a hundred kilometers I guess, to be at the start of this loop we're gonna ride. Uh, but we first need to find a hotel also. So, pit stop, everybody where we stop, everybody wants to be on the picture with us. It, if you want to feel like a rock star, go to Vietnam. Look at the sky, nice. Koa, I think he's also there. Hello. And I need to pee, I need to find a hotel. There are many hotels on the on the road, so that's okay. But we're gonna ride for 30 minutes and then we stop. And then I, I think it's good tomorrow. There's a cow there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's a cow. Yeah, two are from plastic, but look a bit closer. There you see a brown one. Well, later we discovered that cows can be anywhere, even on the highway. Well, cows, I think they're buffaloes. But this one was the first one we saw. So my plan was, about riding an hour and then we stop and then we uh, do by booking.com and try to see if we can find a hotel or something. We found a little city called Dongqin. Although it looks like night, this was only 30 minutes later. You see, around 6.30 pm it's dark in Vietnam. The hotel beds in Vietnam are hard, like really hard. I heard other YouTubers complaining about that. Yeah, it's totally true. Outside the hotel there were two girls singing karaoke, just doing their own business. Karaoke is really a big thing in Vietnam, it's everywhere. Alright, now trying to find some dinner. I'm not sure, but it all looked more Chinese than Vietnamese to me. And everybody was watching us. We're now in a Chinese karaoke restaurant. And they serve everything in plastic. These are raw penis, so it means you open them. Not like the penis we know. You know they're soft, bit. Uh, you see, soft. The food was a bit weird, but it tasted not bad at all. I'm not eating with chopsticks. I'm just holding them. So I uh, suck at it. Anyway, after the dinner, we went back to the hotel because we must be a little bit fit for the loop we are gonna ride the next day. What you will see in the next episode, plus also this. These two hungry women wanted to marry me, plus many, many, many beautiful rows of the Baxan Valley loop we rode. Plus, I had the worst meal ever. It's a bird inside. And we ended up in an extremely loud karaoke bar with drunken guys. So, see you on the next episode or watch this one. It's also nice.